students today i'm i came with a new video and i discussed chapter number 3 class 6 the cell okay so let's discuss first you have to know what is a cell so all living beings are made up of cells an organism perform functions because of the activity of the cells in its body for example uh, in plants the cells in the roots absorb water and minerals from soil but the cells in the leaves contain chlorophyll uh, and uh, uh, contain chlorophyll for preparing food by the help of sunlight carbon dioxide and water similarly an animal can move from one place to another due to the muscle cells and this muscle cells continuously contract and relax so for all this reasons or so for all this purpose we can say that a cell is the basic structural and functional unit of a living organism so this line is very very important so my dear lovely students please underline and remember this sentence so next is building blocks of the life so what do you mean by this so first you have to know why we cells are called the building blocks of life because it perform all the functions all the life processes independently that's why we say that they are the building blocks of life so this is the very important line for your fill in the blank question so cells are too small to be seen by our naked eyes it can be seen by using a microscope so you need a microscope to see them next we discuss the discovery of the cell so the first microscope was made up by anton van leeuwenhoek and was known as simple microscope so this microscope simple microscope was made up of a single lens okay so anton van leeuwenhoek observed blood cells in capillaries in frogs and he was the first to observe bacteria and protozoa and he did not call them cells robert hook developed a compound microscope and observed small box like structures in it so cork is the outer part or the outer layer of the bark of a tree and he called this box like structures as cells thus cells was discovered and named for the first time by robert hook in 1665 so this line is very very important please underline this line and remember it so here you can see a cellula cellula is a latin word for cells it means a small compartments okay so you can see it please underline this so robert hook had actually observed a dead cells next we discuss the cell is the basic unit of life what is this all this uh, importance all these lines are important so you can see a cell is the basic structural and the functional unit of life a cell is capable of independent existence a cell can perform all essential functions for its survival most cells are microscopic that is they are so small and that they can not can be seen only under a micros powerful microscope and all organisms start their life as a single cell and every cell has a life span so old and on out cells are continuously replaced by new ones so uh, new ones means uh, this new cells arises from a pre existing cells so that means many cells together form a tissue and many tissues together form an organ 
many organs are form an organ system and many organ systems are together form an organism so many cells together form a tissue and many tissues together form an organs and last the organisms so we have done up to this and you can read thoroughly this chapter up to here and in the next video i will discuss next parts so thank you tata bye bye see you in the next class Thank mm -hmm. you.